What's going on you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. Today's video is going to be a bit different. I have this stuff here that I've had in my inventory for a while. Let me make sure you can see it. So I've got two boxes of clothes and shoes. This is about 30 items total. I'm going to take these two boxes to Plato's Closet today. Then I have these four items, two golf bags, a wakeboard, and a golf club. I'm going to take all four of these items to a store called Play It Again Sports, which is basically just a, a used sporting goods store. So this is just me trying to weed out some stale inventory. I haven't actually listed any of this. All the clothes are from my death pile and these I haven't listed yet just because they're difficult to ship. So we're going to go to the stores, see what we can see what we can do today and see how much money we can make from this stuff. So stay tuned. Okay, I'm not sure if I can film it here. I'll certainly certainly try for you guys. I mean, I've got my GoPro in my backpack like I usually do, but they may tell me to take it off. But we'll see. Maybe they will be so distracted by the wakeboard and golf bags that they won't notice the camera. One hand. How's it going, guys? I got some good stuff for you. I hope. So got two golf bags, that club. Um, I know they're, I'm looking for store trade on those. Okay. Um, I prefer to get like trade it just for like an equal value baseball glove. I sell stuff on eBay, so I'm just trying to trade this stuff for something that's easier for me to ship. Um, gotcha. So whatever you think you can do on that, and then I have no idea about this. Right. Well, why don't you figure out the glove you want, and then we'll kind of take a look at this stuff. Okay, I'll sure. Ask, you will get the trade on this too, or? You I'd like to get cash on that. I mean, okay. if depending on what you guys can offer me. Yeah. Okay. So. I don't see you have one, so. Well, we put them all up already. Well, now's a great time of year to get it a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, my GoPro stopped recording while I was digging through these baseball gloves, but the store manager came up and offered me 15 in trade for one of the bags in the club and another 35 in trade for the wakeboard, giving me $50 in store credit total. I'm going to just do a straight trade. He said it was 15 on the golf stuff and 35 on that. So this is 14.99 and that's 34.99. So it should work out pretty evenly. He said 35 and 15. Yeah, it's 50 in trade altogether. So I think if we can just do an even trade. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna get this tag off there for you. Sure. You know, I would have to say, like a bag. No, thanks. Right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Y'all too. So as you guys saw in that store, I didn't take any cash. I just did 100% store credit. Uh, I've worked with that guy before, and I feel like his offer was fair. He gave me $50 in store credit for one of the golf bags, the golf club, uh, and the wakeboard. Um, the wakeboard was in relatively good condition, but the bindings on it were starting to like kind of crack and fall apart. Um, so I think he can probably get about a hundred bucks for that wakeboard. And he was offering me 35 in store credit. Um, so, and it being that it's December and he's going to have to hold on to this wakeboard for another five or six months. I felt like that was a fair offer. So I used the $50 in store credit and I got this catcher's mitt. This is a Mizuno, uh, GXC 94, uh, 33.5, uh, whatever that means, uh, catcher's mitt, uh, on eBay right now, there are sold comps on this one for about 35 to 40 bucks plus shipping. Uh, so I think, you know, if I listed, it could probably sell now or it can sell in the spring. Either way, it's much easier to ship than all that stuff I traded, the wakeboard and the golf club bags and, and all that stuff. So that was a good trade there. And then I also picked up this uh, Titleist AP2 uh, 716 9 iron, uh, just a loose 9 iron. This was 15 bucks. So, you know, the glove was 35 in the store. This was 15. So the $50 in store credit went perfectly for those two things. Sold comps on this club are anywhere from like 35 up to about $50 plus shipping. So you feel like I did well. I traded in about $13 worth of items for two items that will sell for say 40 bucks a piece on average. So turning basically turning $12 into about 80. So pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, deal there, I think. So now I'm gonna head into the Plato's Closet over there. Again, there are 30 items total um, and Plato's Closet is generally not super generous. So I'm, uh, I'm curious to see what they offer me for this stuff. Again, it's just basic like Columbia North Face item. There's nothing really super special in here. Um, but I'm really curious as to see what they'll offer me. Again, I have a, about 
about $85 to $90 invested in everything that I'm gonna give them, so anything over that is profit. Was it the two, the Amazon and the U-Haul box? Uh, yeah. All right, so the two little slips are gonna go to the side of each of your boxes, and then okay. the big slip will just go on one of the boxes, doesn't matter which one. Okay. Excuse me. Um, it's probably gonna be about an hour to an hour and a half. Don't sure. stay here, leave, run some errands, whatever you wanna do. Um, we'll text you as soon as your buy is finished. When you get that text, we're just asking everyone to go ahead and come back up here because we are running out of space behind the counter. I mean, sure, okay, okay. thanks. So I'm back at Plato's now. I've been gone for, I don't know, like an hour and a half. I haven't had the text message yet that said my clothes are ready, but they should be close by now. Hey, yes, ma'am. Varnell. Okay, thank you. So we are going to be able to purchase the 17 items from you that are in the bin um, for any that we had to pass on. We don't yeah. usually do a lot of vintage, but we did take several of the pieces. Okay. Um, and I did pass on one Columbia red vintage jacket. It just had a little hole in it. Yeah, it's a little burn that. mark. Cool. Yeah. But for the other ones we're able to purchase, we can offer you 7682. And for how many was that total? 17. Did you want to see what we took? Uh, yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. Went all the way to the top at the very end. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. You too. So I feel like that was a pretty decent transaction at Plato's Closet. I turned in 30 items and they ended up buying 17 of them, which was honestly more than I thought they were going to buy. A couple of the pieces were a little bit older styles. The Columbia jacket I gave them was vintage and it was a really cool colorway, but it had a small like burn mark from like somebody dropping a cigarette a ash or something on it. Um, so they didn't take that, but out of 30 items, they took 17 and they paid me $76 and some change. So. I basically, you know, like I said, I had about $90 invested in all 30 items together. So I got rid of 17 of them and made $76. So I'm almost break even on the entire haul. And I still have 13 items left over that I can sell on eBay to make even more money. So given my history with Play-Dohs, like usually in the past when I'd, I'd bring them 10 or 15 items and they wouldn't take any of them. So the fact that, I, you know, out of 30, they took more than half, that was kind of surprising to me. So again overall i think the transaction went well i got some cash in my pocket i got rid of some clothing out of my death pile that's not taking up room in in my garage anymore um so so again i think this was a good transaction what's up guys you notice that i am dressed differently and that's because i filmed this video yesterday and i forgot to film an outro it happens sometimes so just to give you guys like a recap i took two golf bags a golf club and the wakeboard to the sporting goods store and i traded one of the bags the club and the wakeboard for the catcher's mitt and the new golf club the reason i didn't sell these uh golf bags on ebay like i've done in the past is because they weren't really worth that much money one of them was a, a, an ogo which was a good brand but it was very dirty and, and worn so that's the one they actually passed on they didn't give me any money for and I still have it sitting in the bed of my truck getting rained on <laughs> so it's not really worth that much money I'll probably throw it up on Facebook marketplace for like 10 bucks and see if I can get it sold that way but that's just to give you some clarification on why I didn't sell these on eBay and really it was the same way with the clothes it was just brands that just are really saturated and aren't really worth my time to sit and, and measure and photograph and list and sell for 12 bucks, you know? I just decided to take it to Play-Doh's, recoup my investment and maybe make a little bit of money and really just get some of this stuff out of my way. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have ever traded in inventory at one of these stores like a Play-Doh's Closet or a Closed Mentor or a What's the other one? Buffalo Exchange or something like that? I know some people that just source at the bins and they'll go on road trips and just go to the bins all around the country. And whenever they get a couple of trash bags filled with clothing, they'll go and take them to a place like this, get some cash to fuel the rest of their road trip. It's a really interesting concept that I might, might want to try it one day. It'd be a pretty good YouTube video, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time. If you've made it this far in the video, you might as well go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. It helps me out a ton. And obviously, if you've made it this far in the video, you probably like it a little bit. Thanks again, guys. You're the best. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Wow.